Rocket's altitude now approximately 48 miles tall. Soyuz uh, traveling at approximately 4,700 miles an hour now. Mission Moscow reports all parameters are normal. Second stage engines are in normal operation. The Soyuz core stage performing as expected. It, the core stage is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, and a single engine with four fuel chambers, providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage continues to burn until the four minute, 43 second mark. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. And that's why Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Second stage engine continuing to function normally. And we have a good look at Karen Nyberg inside the spacecraft. At four minutes and 43 seconds, the third stage will ignite and the second stage will begin shutting down. Mission Control Moscow reports all systems normal. Second stage separation com confirmed. The third stage is igniting. Karen Nyberg waving as the flight continues to go nominally. Now five minutes and 30 seconds following launch, the Soyuz is being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage, that engine providing 30 tons of thrust for four minutes and two seconds. Visiting vehicle officer reporting to flight director Royce Renfrew that third stage engines are all nominal. Six and a half minutes since launch, all systems still normal. Mission Control Moscow reporting that the roll pitch and yaw control thrusters are all functioning well as the crew continues its climb to orbit. Third stage engine uh, and continues to op operate normally. Seven minutes and 30 seconds since launch, the spacecraft speed is almost 13,500 miles an hour. Once this third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for its orbit operations. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers, precise time stored in those computers. Eight minutes into the flight, all systems normal. <laughs> 